then I am going to think. Um, so if you do it as an offset from the hard surface onto this, you're making a print. That's why it's called an offset. So it's going to um, uh, it's going to be left to right, right, you know, switch. So if I thought, oh, I really want my dark from here, and my, you know, say, sort of this purplish and whatever in here, I've got to think that it, what's over here is going to print there, not, in other words, I'm not going to print this here. Oops. Get it? Mm -hmm. Everyone gets it. All right, so I am going to use some sort of purples and greens. Try this at home. <laughs> well, be careful. Some flexible. Be careful which table you use. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or if, or if you live with somebody who would think that this is a very bad idea, what are you doing? <laughs> and it's your. I did. <laughs> okay. And uh, being a little bit um, casual uh, is and messy. Can you tell us what? I, yes, I, thank you, Beth, because here's my new palette. I mean, it's actually very much colors. And I, I would really love to be hearing some things back from all you color people. Carbazol violet, which I love. This is phthalo yellow green, a color that's a, uh, sort of a joke, but it's, I'm finding I'm using it all the time. Uh, it's very poisonous green. It mixes or uh, layers very interestingly. Uh, and this is probably Hansa, Hansa Yellow, uh, which is on my palette as a cool yellow, a lemony yellow. Um, I have a bunch of Aurelian, it's a cad yellow, um, uh, Indian yellow, quinacridone gold, a um, bunch of other yellows, but, but this is my cool yellow. So I'm putting that there. Is Aurel in cool too? Is there, it varies depending on the brand that you buy. Oh, sometimes it's more green, sometimes it's more green. Uh, I do I have an image? What was the question, though? The Aurel and is different cool. depending on which cool. brand you get. Um, it's you know, cool, that's the it's, thing, Lindsay. It's such varies. a good point. That's why I, I'm fascinated by, you know, co color theory and how you really work with that because just when you think something, then you get a whole mine or a, a Da Vinci, or, or, and they are majorly different, even when they're not just used. Um, all right, speaking of which now, yeah, I know, but I did dampen this. This is uh, cerulean blue, this is manganese, cobalt, ultra. These, this is my basic palette, and if anyone cares, I'd be glad to. Uh, um, a, a main reason for doing this is really just because you're not going to get um, anything fabulous, probably, uh, is to break the paper. Just start. Uh, don't be, um, not, not only don't be scared of the paper, which I can understand. Uh, maybe none of you are, but I, I am often, particularly when I've paid a fortune for the paper. Um, <laughs> Uh, this is one reason to use the offset, by the way, is you do get a different thing than if you put it on the paper. So uh, that is kind of a neat thing. I think I want some more purple. Now, is this is this because the this color is grainy, or is that because there's a little texture on the paper? It's really the texture of this paper, which is the strat. Because this is almost... The contour. Yeah. How did that happen? I was going to say, it, it, it your very response. much has the sense of the hydrangea Doesn't blossom. it though? Yeah. Because of my technical skill. skill. It's the way you press it. <laughs> yes. Well, I am stunned. Um, uh, so I'm not going to go back in here right now because it's very wet, but what I would go be going back in is, is this kind of stuff. Uh, Boy, that's great. See? Most people would say, yeah, what it's doing. What I like about that green, phthalo yellow green, it comes in, uh, actually, Windsor right now. But I loved it. It's a great color. What was that color? That is uh, Caroline green, which I love. Uh, 
I have Viridian, which I don't love, but I always have had it. Yeah. And, um, um, well, as we get somewhere, I'm hoping this is not too wet. Um, what I, I guess I would do is go up to the contour here. This, this is, um, uh, um, this is a fun, I think I said in my thing, an opportunity when you get into the interior of these, um, or wherever you are, to use um, sort of a calligraphic, uh, you know, just have a little fun, dance around. At least that's what I had fun with. You know, you're just going dee dee finding dee dee dee. You know, it's too wet, so I'm not going to do it yet. Um, I am very fond of uh, using this Carvazol. There, there are other purple violets that me love. I'm quite fond of this one. I love uh, to for darks um, putting a little of that in with Paroline green with a dark green. I mean, you could even do it with a Windsor green. Um, so, mm. Amy went away, but yeah. she said well, to do this, and I think she's right. <laughs> uh, Lindsay, when you say, you were saying that it's it, cool it, or it, not. It, yeah, It, it kind of ends up being in the middle a lot, but it, it depends on the brand. Some brands are a little more toward green, and some brands yeah. are a little more toward the gold. Um, I guess I would call this one cool. Cooler. You know, the cool tends, warm it, is very subjective. It tends toward cool, but sometimes it's even cooler. Yeah. It's, sometimes you get the real green kind of undertone. Yeah. And well, in, in a sense, you get the truth when it's dried, where it looks awful, sort of yucky. It has a. But transparent, it's so pretty. When yeah. You, when you have the. When you have the it light, is. lighter washes, it's pretty. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's my stand. I've never seen Pervy. This heroin green. Yeah, I've never seen that. Um, I think you could get that now. It used to be just Daniel Smith. Now it's um, Windsor Newton and probably others. It's a lovely, um, you know, just a sort of very, uh, you know, blue green, um, but a wonderful mixer again. All right, that's finished. However, if if but I don't. Well, I'll try to. Um, uh, obviously, some of this is your, whatever your style is. there where you can be totally lost in a change of anything. And there is this or and the other way is to start very generalized and come down on it and get more and more. De just depending on what your thing. So if you look at those botanicals there, you know, where each each petal length is delineated, which is um, just, you know, one kind of beauty. And you've got to pick your kind of beauty and your kind of um, style. So for right now, this is enough. Um, I, when I do something like this, and I, you know, I think of what's backing it up and buttressing it. And if you give it a little bit of a join to what you know over here, um, to what's behind it. Yeah, just let it flow in. You also get a nice thing because this is dry. It's not going to spread all over here, but it's it's going to uh, connect it with with what's there. So you get a little fun.